Luke chapter 6, verses 45. The good man out of the good treasures of his heart bringeth out that which is good. And the evil man out of the evil treasures of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh. He said the good man, the godly man will speak the good things of his heart. You know, you can tell the fruit by the spirit, the Bible says. You know, and the Bible says also try the spirit. You know, try them. Test them. You know, because you're going to know them by their fruits and the fruits that they bear. Because the Bible says if they're in the flesh, you know, if they're in the, in the, in the flesh, the fruits of the flesh are which manifested, adultery. If they're talking about sexual, the sexual immorality, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, hatred. If they talk about the hate and the negativity that they have for somebody, virulence, Emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, and heresies. Envying, if they're talking about murder, if they're talking about getting drunk all the time, drunken, revealing, and such like of which I tell you before. As I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And, uh, he's talking about if you're walking in the flesh. And, and that's how you determine the fruits of the flesh. I mean, the fruits of the flesh. But the fruits of the Spirit, and again, it is how you talk, and it's, it, it's an inward thing. It is an inward thing. And he said, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance against such there is no law. For they that are Christ have crucified the flesh. They that are Christ have killed that flesh. Like Christ was crucified upon the cross. We crucify this flesh every day on the altar. And they have crucified the flesh with the afflictions and the lust. You crucify all that. You kill that, that, that fleshly desire. And let us, be, let us not be desirous of vainglory, nor provoking one another not, not provoking or envying one another. So let, let us not be desirous of vainglory. Let us not be desirous of vanity. Because vanity is pride. 